Well, I, I spent my whole life doubting God's existence. From the very childhood, I was taught to be critical. You see, the trouble is the word doubt has several levels of meaning, as you can see in the Oxford English Dictionary, if you get that over here. <laughs> um, and once doubt is mentioned, people tend to think of that awful black hole sinking feeling, the whole world is collapsing. But dubitari is simply, in Latin, to be in two minds. And I was taught from childhood to question everything. And one of the reasons I am increasingly convinced of the truth of Christianity is precisely because I do that all the time. I'm, I explained to you at the beginning I'm Irish. And uh, an event occurred when I arrived in Cambridge that was seminal for the rest of my life because somebody in the first week rather too loudly at dinner said, do you believe in God? And then they said, oh, sorry, I forgot you're Irish. <laughs> All you Irish believe in God and you fight about it. <laughs> and of course, I'd heard that before, but it was very important for me. I thought, yes, my parents are Christian, my grandparents are Christian, there you are, it's Irish genetics, full stop. <laughs> so that's why I decided in that first week as a student to befriend people that did not share my worldview. And I've been doing it ever since. And what I've discovered is the more deeply I allow my faith to be questioned, my faith in God that is, I never try to use the word faith on its own. You've always got to ask faith in what? My faith in God, I allow it to be constantly subject to criticism and questioning because I do not want to be fooled. I do admit their predispositions in my genetics and my background and all the rest of it, which is why I've bent over backwards following the advice of a very good Californian, Richard Feynman, who said, the easiest person to fool is yourself. So bend over backwards to ask yourself questions. And therefore, uh, you know, people will ask me in this kind of context, what would it take you to uh, become an atheist? I can answer that easily say you'd have to demonstrate to me that Jesus did not rise from the dead. You'd have to demonstrate to me that all the prophecies over the history of the Old Testament that predicted specific events in the New were simply coincidences. You'd have to prove to me that the hundreds of people I've seen come to faith in Christ, had their lives transformed, that it's, it's simply an illusion, and so on and so forth. You could do it, but it's a huge task. So, it's the, I suppose I'd sum this up by saying that I've always tried to make myself vulnerable and that hasn't always been easy. It hasn't always been easy. But somewhere within me, there's that feeling that, and I know it's a psychological thing, you're Irish and of course you're a believer and so on. And I've tried to climb out of that by entering into as many discussions of the sort that we're having this evening in order to increase the evidence base and building up trust. Because I repeat again, Christian faith, I can't speak for other faiths, is evidence-based. It's a commitment based on evidence. Blind faith is believing where there's no evidence, and that is profoundly dangerous. Mm -hmm.